Hi everyone, welcome to Irish Crochet Lace channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make these beautiful flowers. You can make them plain color, you can use the self-striping yarn just like this or you can or you can match the uh, the colors to make them darker or lighter, it, it's all up to you. For this tutorial, just because I'm making the skirt, the winter skirt, I'm using the Alize Diva yarn which is poly acrylic or micro acrylic and it's 350 meters per 100, 100 grams and I use the hook uh, the size of two millimeters so to start with we need to do the base first that's the center of the flower and uh, if you use if you make chains quite loosely you can cast on uh, eight chains I'm doing it quite tight so I'm casting nine nine form a loop into the first chain and three chains to go up to the heights of the trebles that we're gonna make um, just a reminder that I'm make, using the British terms so in American I think it will be double so I have to make 25 uh, stitches one of them is three chains so I have to add 24 more trebles, 3, 4, oops, 5, 6, I guess I don't have to lean on the, on the desk, so that's 2, 4, 5, 6, pack it a little bit tighter, use the, the, the tail as the padding cord plus you can control the thickness of, of the motifs if in case you run out of space you can always pull it and shift the the, the stitches to the side so I've got two four seven eight nine ten eleven Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. This is the point where you have to pack the motifs, the, the stitches a bit tighter because I ran out of space so either pulling it up or using the tail to pull the motifs aside, uh, to, to pull the stitches aside I have to make five more stitches four and five and then I do the slip stitch into the third chain over here using bo both two out of three loops of the of the chain now the, before I start I need to have uh, five chains between each place where the the petal will be attached to the center so but bef when I use the double crochet to to join but to raise to that level I have to first I have to do the six chains four five six just because when we finish I will do the slip stitch into the first and that will go up to the height of the double on the rest of the petals so skipping four make one double again one two three four five skip four one double two three four five skip four one double and my yarn run away one two three four five skip four one double two three four five 
and as I said, remember the first stitch. I do the slip stitch here, chop the thread, and bind off. This is what I finished with the yellow color. I can clip off the central part so it doesn't get in the way. Now we're back to the petals. I make the tail about you know four inches so I can use it as a padding cord around the whole the whole base, the whole center, center of the flower, and inserting the hook into the fir first the chain and the slip stitch using both threads as a padding cord. I do one double one as the chain. And then for each petal I do one double, one half a treble, seven trebles, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one half a treble, and a double. So we've got the first part of the petal done, the bottom one. And now continue, it's very fast to make, so I'm not gonna skip that moment, so you can watch on repeat. Again, one double, one treble, one, one, one half a treble, seven trebles, two, three, four. Sometimes I'm sliding off because I can barely see what's happening in the camera. Three, four, five, six, seven, half a treble, and a double. And again, I'm using this yarn waist piece as a batting cord, yarn tails. And again, one double, one treble, or oh, half a treble, seven trebles, two, three, four, five, six, seven, half a treble, and a double. Now the other two to repeat. Double, half a treble, seven trebles, three, four, five, six, seven, half a treble, double, and the last petal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, half a treble, put the tails aside, one double, and a slip stitch. Can clip off this now. They are no longer useful to us. It will be the banners. The next step. Now I have to work the the, the last roll, and all we do, all the stitches we do in the back side back side of the stitch. So I do one double. I do one half a treble. At the top of the of the half a treble of the previous row, and into the back side of the stitch. Then for the next two doubles, uh, trebles, I do two trebles into each, so that will be four four in total. Four, 
three, tre three trebles, one into each stitch below. Two, three, and then again, two trebles into into a stitch, uh, two trebles into a stitch. One half a treble. Don't forget that we're using everything at the, at the back stitch. Now between the petals we do only one double and that goes into the last double of the petal and we skip the first one of the next stitch. So we skip this one and do the treble, half a treble into the next. Again, two trebles into each stitch of the following two. Three times one treble into each treble of the previous row. Twice two trebles into one one below. Again, one half a treble and the first the last double. And again we skip first double and make this half a treble. And so repeat like that five times. If you like to uh, to have six petal flower, you can cast on ten or eleven chains and make the thirty trebles as a center. And then repeat instead of five petals, you make six. The the steps are the pattern is exactly the same. You just increase the number of petals. And the petals are made exactly the same way. If you prefer to use the double colored one like this uh, you just start a new bind off and cut the thread and again about 15 centimeters long and add a new thread and you work with the threads as a padding cord just like here so it's absolutely exactly the same it's just add another color it's not up there is no absolutely anything terrifying very easy and fast to make takes about 15 to 20 minutes to make this flower and actually they're quite good to act as the main accent or maybe fill up the gap in, in between other motifs so Quite useful and has sorry too much talk, talking, not paying attention to the pattern. Yes, they're very universal. It can be made in any color, any color combination, any shape, like five, six, seven. Just when you do that, increase the number. Of stitches at the base by three and by one in chain at the bottom of the base but I think five petals are more than more than enough and they act like I don't know forgive me not daisies they're quite universal it can be used in any project I use quite a lot of them in the in the tops that I make. I plan to make a skirt using these flowers as the main motif. Plus I'll add some more. But the main color scheme will be this and the, the uh, daisies. That the daisy will be done later on this week. So stay tuned. There will be more tutorials and hopefully there will be more streams because once I got everything settled down in, in my craft room and I'll have more room, more space and time to craft.
so you can join me on occasional streams that I will have. Okay, so do this slip stitch at the back. Cut the th thread, bind off, and all that you have to do now is to, using a needle, I'm using the tapestry needle, I think that's the thickest one I have, you just, I would either slide it through the bottom of this row, or I prefer to make it at the bottom of the petal this way it stays more more secure it's more tightly packed so that's it beautiful five petal flower is ready Hope you enjoyed this video and it will be useful to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.